Welcome to another edition of the Bullhorn. Howard Lindzen, do you know any Finnish, perhaps? Nobody knows any Finnish, including the employees at the left, the four remaining employees at Nokia. Uh, poor Nokia. Nokia, we know, based in Helsinki, a Finnish company, but a lot of investors think that they are finished. Ah! I kill me sometimes. Seriously, another earnings warning from Nokia. It has just been a bloodbath for that stock. Multi-year lows. The Microsoft Alliance doesn't seem to be helping. Do you see any good long-term future for Nokia, or is Nokia finished for Palm? It's hard because Nokia is going backwards, and so I only invest in companies going forward. So it's hard for me to really judge something that's been off the radar screen for four or five years. I mean, this is not an overnight uh, failure. This is just bad decision on bad decision. Nokia isn't acting the way it is because of one bad decision. So just a cockroach theory. You know, they're just being played. They're being dominated. You've got the second best phone is actually run by Hewlett Packard. I don't know if they'll ever do anything with uh, H with Palms technology, but they're actually the ones sitting on the second best phone. Right. So Nokia's, Nokia's got to pass HP. They got to pass Samsung. They got to pass Apple. They got to pass Droid. It's pretty much they got to come up with a new product. So uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do. I mean, obviously they're they're really hitching their wagon to the the Microsoft uh, you know Windows Phone operating system. Is that a mistake? I think partnering with Bomber is like just dropping two giant lead balloons into water <laughs> and just seeing how fast they can sink. I mean, Oof. Bomber's Bomber 70. I don't know how old this Finnish guy is. But together, that may be the worst combination of drowning people that I've ever seen. Nokia's CEO actually came from Microsoft, Stephen Elop. There's been a lot of speculation about whether or not Microsoft could eventually buy Nokia. The market value keeps falling. We're talking about a still very large company. I think at last check, about $25 billion. Do you think there's any chance that Microsoft just you know, really formalizes the alliance by just going out and buying Nokia? I hope so. We'll keep two dummies in a corner. You know how you put like the dunce cap on one kid? And I think it makes the playing field safer for the people that really want to execute and win and not just guard their cash hoard, which Microsoft seems to be doing. When you look at other smartphone makers, Motorola Mobility, it's been a complete dog. Research in Motion, the BlackBerry and the Playbook have not really excited investors. That stock's been uh, you know, another terrible investment. Is there any compelling reason to buy any smartphone company not named Apple? Apple's dominating. That's the real story. It's making other people look worse than they are. People are chasing. And anytime companies start chasing, uh, they've just admitted to just following in the jet stream of Apple. So Apple's really, it's now in their court to completely miss a cycle. And there doesn't seem to be a company in the legacy business, like maybe HP with Palm, but definitely not Nokia and Microsoft, that will be able to leapfrog them. So it's just making Apple, which I own, obviously, and I've owned for a long time while I've been doing the bullhorn with you, just that much stronger. And another reason why in this space, you've got to keep it simple. You have to own Apple. The great news about Apple is it isn't a thousand dollars yet. It's a three hundred and forty stock. It's a known entity that we know Steve Jobs is sick, and yet uh, that seems to be factored into the price. So I think Apple's still an interesting play here for mobile. 